Hi hey guys, welcome back. I've just been back to the, the apartment, dusted myself down, had a shower, and I was kept. And we're heading over to Chinatown. I'm going to get the boat over from Ding Dang, Ding Diang. I hope I'm getting it somewhere near right. Over to Chinatown on the boat. I've been looking back at a couple of the vlogs I've been doing, the first few, and I messed them up with the speeds and things like that, and just trying to get things right. I'm hardly the most technical person in the world, so you have to bear with me, I'm afraid. Hopefully, we'll get this right. Well, it looks like we're heading towards another pier. Honestly, some people can be so awkward. The guy there, and I'm not talking about all tyres, because the vast 99% of the tyres are absolutely amazing people. You just get that 1% that really get on your nerves. As I said, we're working at the boat's obviously closed there. It's not going across the river. So I said, where can I go? No, no, and I pointed up and down the river just to see because there was a language barrier and he just ignored me. So, hey, up, we'll go to the pier, we'll get another one. As you know, we've been forced to take the long route round, but that has its advantages. Like you say, when you're on your toes, you get to see more. And we're walking down Din Diang Market, street food market. I'm not going to get anything to wait here because I want to wait through Swaddy Cap. I want to wait to uh, get to Chinatown, get something to eat there, starving like, especially after that beer. Right, let's check out what we can see down here though, the future. This is my hood, <laughs> my neighbourhood, for a couple of days, another, another four nights at least anyway, and then we'll decide where we're going to go from there. I'm thinking Chiang Mai, head up, up the north, and slowly make our way down south, but we'll see. Once I get an idea in my head, I'll, I'll just change. I'll, I'll, any day, anything can happen. Um, chicken. More chicken. Noodles. I'm not too sure what the muffly things are. Got a lot of shops on one side and all the street food on the other. Here's all the flowers, I think that's where they make merit. With the little shrines and everything. There's bananas. We haven't had them little small bananas yet. Wow, they are crazy. Really nice. It's dead sweet. Much sweeter than what you get in the West. Mangosteens. I got some of them this morning for rotten. Wasn't happy. The mangosteen season has just finished, so yeah, not very good. No bakery. hoping this footage is better with the faster speeds it just means I don't get as much battery life but hey, it's all about the quality there's one thing that struck, that struck me when I was uh, watching the vlog it's very visible that I always wear two pairs of glasses one on my chest and one on my eyes because I wear reading glasses for the last couple of months I'm not going to lie, it's a right pain in the ass Durian. I haven't had it yet, but I'm going to do a food, a fruit eating vlog. Because a lot of these fruits I've never seen before. Them red hairy ones there, I got some of them this morning, they're really nice. You just pull them apart. There's the durian. I want to get some dragon fruit. There's a lot, a lot of things that I've never ever seen before so yeah I think I'll make an interesting vlog to see we can find out about them together see what they're like I think this is like the type of eat as much uh, uh, buffet I mean I know they cook it all the time but you don't really know how long the food's been sat there and I mean, if you've been here for a while, it's not too bad. 
the immune system's used to it. Oh, there's a little, uh, I'm not sure, I think that might be the coconut thing. Um, yeah, your immune system, it, for the first few weeks here, I think you've got to try and take it, uh, take it as easy as possible. And then your immune system steps up its game and it can fight off the, uh, well, it's not so hygienic. But the vast majority of places are great. You walk past some places and you think, oh, that's dirty. That's probably I would never eat that in a month or some days. But it's not. It's truly not. And so that's some of the places where some of the nicest food that you'll ever eat. Hopefully that's a so hot the case anyway. I'm hearing there's a lot of dengue fever kicking about Thailand at the moment. So I'm trying to find some sort of mosquito repellent that's natural and not got DEET in it because DEET causes cancer we don't want that do we? and we've got our ticket I'm just waiting for the boat now, I've got no idea how long that's going to be but it was a massive 4 bat for the ticket but there, uh, we're only going over there but it was the, oh, 12p oh, 15 cents yeah and this is where we're at, Ding Dong Pier Well, yeah, that's where we're heading, guys. I think there's a boat coming back over here now. I've just watched that boat coming across there, and it's like a bit like a fairground ride. When you get the other boats that are flying down, and it causes all the waves to rush, to rough up. There's another one over there. And then when that one's coming straight across and then it's coming sideways on here it's like it pulls a bit of a, a, a handbrake turn and just wings it in that'd be an interesting boat ride <laughs> well there's a lot more people coming the other way than there is going over there must have been at least 50 people get off that boat coming to dig down and on this one four of us Gibson and a hop, we're going to be there. Oh, hang on a minute. Potential collision. Beep, beep. He's not stopping. Oh, here comes the unbreak turn. He's done this before. Well, he has done it before. I've seen it about two minutes ago. There's the bridge. Go up further down. Another temple over the other side there. You just see the spire kicking up. Oh, he's good. He's good. The captain's got it nailed. people where to get on that side. Right, let's get it to China Town. Why it's mayhem around here. I've just been round down that lane and then I was gonna go down that lane but there was no point in getting the camera on because it's so dark. You can't see anything. And you definitely won't be able to go for it. So we'll head down here, see what we can see. See what we can see. <laughs> to be honest, there wasn't much to look at down that lane anyway. It's all just the usual Thailand tap, touristy stuff. Chinese in Chinatown, would you believe it? 
I think it's pretty much the same down here. Here we are, right on the main street. One thing I did buy down one of them alleys was an umbrella. I can see it there. We're, uh, we're, due, we're due some rain this week, a lot of rain this week and tonight. So I got myself a 120 bad umbrella. I won't record it on camera, but you wouldn't have been able to see. Three pounds, three pound umbrella. Four dollars. Too short of. All the little Chinese wavy dolphins. <laughs> Tom Yum, Tom New Dry Doodles. Tom New Dolls. Well, I thought they were spring rolls, I'd have been all over them. Coconut and fresh milk. Rice cake with sweet radish. Interesting. Oh, this is kicking my hunger right in. Coconut water, 60 baht. Until you get in the touristy areas. As soon as you got off the boat, they were 30 baht. The rest of the walls don't buy in the touristy areas unless you know you're not getting top lip 80 baht I got more of them red hairy things earlier for 20 baht at Ding Dang Market that's four times the price that's ridiculous durian 500 baht 540 560 900 what? Ding Dang Market blows us away for prices. There's a squid, chicken, oh, octopus. Fruit juices, chestnuts, horse chestnuts. Congress. We played Congress when you were kids at school. I used to love Congress, I was a champion. Soak them in vinegar for the night before. And you can hard them right up. I was the king at school. Primary school, anyway. I had teeth then. Well, not at the end. I got knocked over by a car. I'm used to it now, though. It has its advantages when you go to the dentist. Not so much, not so many trips. Brushing your teeth takes half the time. Um, I'll go look at the bright side. Even though I talk like Popeye. Wow. Wow. Does he say that? Is he a farmer? Right, let's get back to the market. Enough about no teeth. You'll see all that when I try to eat some noodles. That's when it is like feeding time at the zoo. Squid kebabs. Oh boy, thank you. Juices, 10 baht, 40 baht, a pound, dollar 25. You can't go wrong for a fruit juice, can you? Here we are, of course. We'd like to think so, anyway. Coconuts. There you go, coconut water, 35 baht. Four bottles for 100 baht. That might be, uh, that might be diluted a bit, man. Bean curd and ginger tea, 20 baht. The kind of Chinese dessert. <laughs> These are nice and tidy, these little parcels. You get sticky rice, the pork, your york, what's your peanut, jingo, nut, and mushroom inside. This morning, and I think they're in a banana, packed in a banana leaf. 
this morning I had one with uh, sticky rice and banana and raisins and peanuts for breakfast. Really nice. I think it was uh, for two. It was uh, 40 baht, pound for two. One dollar twenty-five. Great. These are all your little wavy dolls again. Do people actually buy these? I'm okay, thank you. Oh, he was on me there. It's like a dog out the trap, she was. Plenty of fruit juices. Oh, barbin. I thought it said ban me there for some stupid reason. The Japanese baguettes. Uh, Japanese baguettes. Uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese baguettes. We'll be going to Vietnam, guys, in the future. As soon as we've travelled Thailand a lot. It's not just going to be a month. I like to find out the culture of the place. There's no way you go and look at the different places. Look at the different provinces, the different sides of Thailand. I mean, I've been to Vietnam once. I went to Ho Chi Minh City and I hated it. But then, the, the places with the big crowds are not really me. Uh, I like the I like the West quieter. I'm from a town, a small town in the UK, north of England, Darlington, and it's nothing like this. Like it's a town of 100,000 people. So yeah, we're going to be heading up north. To Chiang Mai, I think. That's the plan at the moment. Subject to change. Pineapple juice, 25 baht. Chili, egg custard, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Grilled squid. Oh, mango sticky rice, one of the bats ones. Should be talking half that at the most. Sea bar, sea bar bar. Oyster bar and seafood. That's enough of the calls for a minute. Moving on. You walk down another street, just off the main road. And then you've got the durian for 300 baht. A big massive pack for 500 baht. On that main road, that would have been a thousand baht for sure. Without a doubt. I don't know whether I'm looking forward to eating it. It's been really, really good for you. But that at the same time, the smelliest fruit ever. Oh, it's really good for you. There you go. In for a penny, in for a pound, or a dollar for you Americans. Or a bat, a few ties. <laughs> what have we got? Not a lot down here. Oh, this is where I come with, uh, where I got the taxi yesterday with all my bags. Oh. I was in a bad place this time yesterday. <laughs> it was manageable, but I had a jacket, I had no space for my bags, so I had to wear it. I was sweating like Fred West Paperboy. If you don't know Fred West is, then look it up. It's from the UK. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, giant town. More durian, 180 baht. When you're going down that main road, you're probably getting stung. That's what I mean by that penny pinching. It's not penny pinching, I just like to get value for money. Or pay the proper price and not a tourist tax. See a white man coming along. Or if you're walking down the main streets of a place like Chinatown. Everything just explodes in price. Oh, 
Give me a pop ball noodles. See, chopsticks are my nemesis. When you've got no front teeth and you're trying to make noodles from chopsticks, it's not easy. <laughs> it's pretty much impossible to be honest with you. I say no teeth, I've got half the teeth. But it's just not in the right place. Go the back from the sides. It's like a dog trying to chew on a bone. Right, there's not a lot down this way. We shall head over here. Air conditioned bus. <laughs> As in, the doors and windows are open. See what we can find down here, if anything. See, I've been to Chinatown in lots of lots of countries, lots of cities. And it, it's not really for me, as in for the food wise. Oh, I've had them little potato bad boys before. They were nice. Red pork cream, Chinese pork bun. Let's try one of them, eh? Swally cap! Got yourself one Chinese pork bun! Swally cap! Let's see what it's like, eh? I've got to try some of them, I'm hanging over. This is the thing, but... Swally cap! Cock and cap! Right, let's see what this bad boy's like. Pork bun. Nice. Not bad, 15 baht. Not bad at all. I say this alley is better than uh, most ones. <laughs> ah, shark spin and bird's nest. What's a bird's nest? Anyone, please let me know in the comments if you know. I'm not a fan of the shark spin. No, I've seen programs about that. More squid, more fruit juices. We'll get sat down somewhere, guys. I'll get my tripod out so you can have a look at what I'm eating. That pork bun weren't too shabby. I'm trying to find some sandals. I want some sandals walking about in trainers in Asia. No good. Sweaty face. Sweaty face syndrome. Right, we're back on that street that we're on before. Mr. Wang's pork soup. Mango sticky rice, 100 baht. We're back on the expensive street, aren't we? <laughs> 12 straight away. Mm. Strawberries. We grow some mean strawberries back in the UK. I don't know whether I want a fruit juice or a beer. I'm seeing loads of fruit juices. There's no beer. 
I don't drink much, but it's like two or three cans a night. It's red hot. It is red hot. It's like 35 degrees right now. It's rain season as well, hence the umbrella. Not what going on down there. I don't know if any of you guys get this feeling, but whenever I go away to somewhere really hot, for the first week or so, I really struggle to eat. I mean, it's all right in a cost saving, cost saving way, but not good, not good. You just feel weak, especially when I'm walking everywhere. Smoothies, mango smoothies, 40 baht. To do with the beer and the smoke, to be honest with you. Found a little temple here. See, that's what I'm looking for for a bit of inspiration a bloody temple. We've done a temple today. But we'll have a look, guys. We'll have a look. Like I said, this isn't just for me, for you as well. I don't think we're going to get charged for this one either. It's only a small one, but beautiful nonetheless. It's closed, I think. There's well, some gates closed anyway, but we can walk up there, see what it's like. So there's nothing now. And Chinatown wasn't even very big there. It was in maybe three, four streets. A little bill there. I think they are charged at some point if this is, if this is open. It's not like the ties to miss out on a few, but. But hey, this must cost some money to sort out how to build that. Look how intricate it is. All them little jewels and whatever you're all just stuck on hand by one by one by hand. There's all your monks and the Buddhas. There's another monk. It's an older temple and uh, quite a newer one. And that's built right next to a concrete wall there, I don't know if you can see it. It's gonna block in. There's no one about. Oh, there's someone I think they live here. She's up a big concrete wall. Not that skinny in Thailand, or near the Thai bit. Oh, it's been, been at it. Someone's been at it. Oh, you're struggling, son. Hmm? Oh, it's an animal struggle. I mean, I'm not the cat's biggest fan. I love dogs, but you don't want to see any animal hurt, eh? Tell that one lives in Chinatown. Skinny as a rat. There's a couple living near where my apartment And they're built like uh They're not built like that, I nearly swore that Brick S houses Yeah, it's nice that one Well it looks like I'm heading over towards the uh, bridge Back towards Ding Dang there's nothing here now, just in the wilderness. You just keep wandering about in Bangkok because there's it's a really big city. So yeah, we just head towards the bridge and we try and get across there rather than getting the boat. As I'm close to it, I've been wandering about for about three quarters of an hour. Yeah, it looks nice. Look at this. This is probably the first down there. Might have walked past and see what that is. You can see the ferry just parked up, that's down there, that's what we, had, we got earlier, across the, across the 
water to uh, Chinatown. Surprise, surprise, there's another temple. Looks like a little part there as well. Right guys, I'll keep the, ca the camera handy just in case anything else comes up. Chow Praia River, I'm sure it's called. I'm not sure, by no means, but I think that's what it's called. I've got loads lined up for the next few days, guys. Please keep keep checking out from the vlogs. Hopefully I'll be putting one out every day. Grand Chow Praia River Cruise. That's quiet. Very quiet. The only people I've seen on there were the staff. 